Hello, hello. I'm gonna, I've tried to film this so many times, I'm just gonna take a completely different um, tact now. What I'm doing is I am going to do a, a bit of a different video telling you um, all of the tools that I use, where I got them from, and what I think of them. Um, and the simple reason is um, I can't keep up with the comments. I, I'm really struggling and I, I don't like not answering comments. So I just thought I would do one video, give you all that information, um, and then if I am asked the question again, I can either refer to the video, I can attach it to the bottom of, a, of, a, of another video, um, and people can, you know, maybe see um, this video and find out everything they want to know. So the first thing I'm going to tell you about is my ruler. Um, I have completely lost count of how many times I have um, been asked about this ruler. So first of all, it's called a tear ruler, just simply a tear ruler. If you want to find one, just do a search for a tear ruler. You'll get loads wherever you are. However, this one is from Joy Crafts and it is from the UK. And from the comments that I'm getting, it does not seem to be available in the USA or anywhere else actually. Um, it, it quite possibly is and people just haven't been able to find it. But this is a Joy Crafts ruler and it appears to be available in the UK. There are loads of others, you know, if you can't get this one, there are loads of others. Um, so please just um, search for Tear Ruler rather than the brand um, because you will get some up. Um, I know We Are Memory Keepers, I think, have one. Um, I think that's one of the ones that I've seen when I've done a search because I've tried to search for people to help them out. But I, I just don't have the time. I'm really sorry, I just don't have the time. So um, that's a Tear Ruler. So that's the first question that I'm asked quite a few times. The other question is about my alphabet roller stamp. Um, I have no idea what it is actually called because I bought this such a long time ago. What I can tell you is I got this from AliExpress. Um, I've got about 60 pages of previous orders so I cannot find it. I've been back 60 pages worth and I can't find it so whether or not it's dropped off I don't know whether it's, your previous orders are kept forever in AliExpress I'm not sure um, but I would put in something like alphabet roller stamp this has 12 um, 12 letters across I think you can get one with seven it is absolutely marvelous um, I know Izzy B has said where she got hers from hers was more expensive I know this was only about seven or eight pounds but it is from Ally Express okay so that's those my cutting board it is a glass cutting board I don't use it for cutting because I think it's a bit dangerous I use an old plastic one um, it's an XX cut A3 glass cutting mat the only thing is, it's in centimetres, so if you're in the US, this probably isn't going to be something you're interested in. Um, I do use it for measuring and I do use it for inking, I do use it for paint, I use it for glues, I use it for inks, I use it for all sorts of things and it's absolutely brilliant, but it's not very good as a cutting mat. Unless you have one of the cork-backed rulers, apparently that's what you need for this. Um, I don't have one, so I don't use it for cutting. So that's number three. Number four is my corner cutters. Um, I think when I've used them, I have mentioned what they are. Um, these are X cut large and small corner punches. And I think they are brilliant. They, they give you a perfect corner. Um, I've not had any trouble with them. I have had two of these. Um, this is just the corner punch, but I did have the one with the reverse that kept getting stuck, the reverse bit. But this has been brilliant and I've had it for probably, I don't know, 18 months or so. This one I've had longer because this one was actually my mum's before it was mine. So I also have the Crocodile Corner Chomper. I can't lie, I think it's pants. I just, it, it doesn't cut a very smooth corner 
Um, when I've mentioned it in videos, lots of you have said the same thing. The only thing I would say about this is it goes through cardstock brilliantly where this struggles and it doesn't even cut at all. Some of the really thick card, but this does. Um, but as for a neat corner, I absolutely recommend the X cut corner chompers. Okay, um, next is my um, Crocodile 2. I think this is probably one of the best presents my other half has ever bought me. I absolutely love it. I've had some really pants tools to put holes in and use eyelets, um, um, set the eyelets, and this has absolutely been the best tool I've ever had. The only thing I would say is I do struggle to get everything lined up. You know, I'm kind of getting my head twisted just trying to find um, where to line things up. So I do struggle a bit with it but it is fantastic. The other thing I do use for making holes is my very, very cheap single hole punch, which was literally about two pounds. I got this from a local um, stationery shop called Ryman's. Um, I'm, you, you know, you'd be able to get a single hole punch anywhere, and I know probably in the US I've seen lots of people use these. The only problem with this is great for tags, it's great for putting the reinforcers on, but if you make a hole with the this one, I don't know if yours is the same, but this one um, is t the hole is too big to use the eyelet setter on the crocodile. Um, so if I'm going to use it for an eyelet, I always use my crocodile. If I'm just doing a single hole tag and I'm not going to put an eyelet in it, um, then I uh, you know this is fab. Um, so that is that. Um, when I am trimming my pages on a book, I use my um, Jacquard ruler and I use a rotary blade. Um, now, this is an Olfa, Olfa, O-L-F-A, um, but I use the Fiskars blades in it because I can get those from Amazon Prime and they come a lot quicker. And I've not actually seen the blades that go with this. This is a new one, well I say new, it looks awful doesn't it, but I got this one for Christmas off my in-laws, so um, this isn't the newer version of the one I used to use, which was, um, I think this might be a jacquard as well, no, oh it just says rotary cutter, um, these are brilliant, but I had to replace the blades too often. Um, this ruler I got in the UK, um, it is available, you can get this in the range, but a lot of people in the US have said they can't get this ruler, so I'm really sorry um, if you can't get this where you are. Um, it's not very often we get something in the UK that you can't get in the US, but um, I've had lots of people say they can't find this ruler. If you're in the UK, the range do carry it, or at least they did carry it. So that is that. Um, what else? Ah my um whole, uh, circle punch is a fiskars i've been asked about this before um it obviously cuts a perfect circle the only problem with this is um it's not got a lot of reach if you're looking to use the hole so another tip tip for you if i'm wanting to make a circle and have the hole um i bought a set of dies from AliExpress and they were £1.50 and I think there were six circles. Now because I thought it was going to take three months to come, my other half purchased me a, a, a well-known brand which I think were about £8. Um, the AliExpress ones came within 10 days typically, very soon after my other half bought me the other circle dies. I can't remember the brand of them and I've taken them out of the package but I can tell you they are identical. The £1.50 circle pun, um, dies and the £8 circle dies are identical. So I would absolutely recommend going to AliExpress for those. Ink is something else I'm asked about. Now, I, I can't remember to tell you every single thing while I'm doing a video. I've got the memory span of a goldfish. Um, what I can tell you is I always use Vintage Photo and it, um, ground espresso they are my two inks they have been for a very long time only recently did the lovely Abby buy me some lovely 
inks in different colours and if I use those I will try to remember to tell you what colour they are um, but generally it's vintage photo and ground espresso okay finally glue is something else I'm asked about Fabri-Tac I pretty much use it for everything Fabri-Tac is my, my go-to glue um, there are a few exceptions I will use high tack fabric glue um, for certain things and I will also use the high tack tacky glue for certain things not very often I tend to use those if I'm doing some collage decoupage that kind of thing nothing that I normally do for journals or journal making um, I do use Mod Podge if I am decoupaging napkins um, and I usually usually water it down very slightly okay so oh the other thing about glue is I have tried the Tombow aqua glue it's okay on thicker card but I find it just buckles it's very wet and I just I don't know I just can't get on with it I don't know about that um, so the other thing I wanted to say is I don't use crayons I, I mean I I probably would use crayons but I don't use crayons um, these are oil pastels and this is the brand that I use um, they are artist brand, um, an artist grade oil pastel I'm not sure what kind of quality they are but I pay about four pounds each for these they do last quite a long time but they are soft the more you use them the quicker you'll go through them I've got several of them that are about this length because I, I they get to a certain length and I want a new one although that's not going to happen now they're all going to be used to nothing so um, yeah they're not crayons they are oil pastels um, my heat tool is the cheapest one that was on offer at Hobbycraft in the UK I've seen people in the US use this same pink heat tool so you know I mean it's been through the wares it's been about for a while um, it's covered in paint and other things so I think I think oh that was very Suffolk of me then wasn't it <laughs> my Suffolk accent coming out I think that is everything um, the tools that I use on a daily basis um, I hope I haven't missed anything um, thank you all so much for watching please do still ask me questions it's not that I'm not going to answer them it's just I'm struggling to answer the same questions um, over and over so I just wanted to you know show you talk to you tell you where I got them from um, pretty much these are Amazon these are definitely Amazon um, these are the range in the UK but I'm pretty sure you can get them everywhere my cutting board was definitely Amazon um, my fabri comes from Amazon <laughs> um, um, yeah pretty much everything comes from Amazon I can't tell you where the rotary cutter comes from because like I said that was a gift but Oh, the other thing I do use, which I actually, is I actually use, um, this is not a Stanley knife, because Stanley is the brand, but um, I find this really useful too. Um, try not to use it too often, because I'm a little bit dangerous. And the other thing is, my embossing machine, die cut machine, is a big shot. It's the big shot. It's, it's not a fancy one. Um, it was just the bog standard. I think it was the... It does, I think, A5 maybe, maybe smaller. It's not huge. Um, but that's that's about it, I think. I think I've covered everything I needed to tell you. So I hope you found it useful and, um, you know, um, you now know where I got everything from. So I will be back very soon with another video. Thanks again for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.